Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty. I go by Patty Mac Makes Everywhere Online. In today's video, uh, I'm going to take you on an online journey and I am going to share with you uh, some really cool patterns and other um, like uh, quilt uh, fabric as well as pattern designers and uh, just some other videos I really like. So originally when I had this idea, it was supposed to be part three to the Christmas project idea video that I just shared with you. Uh, but both of the segments were just too long. And so I thought I'm just going to split them into uh, two different videos. It's just easier and uh you know not quite so long for you to sit there watching a video because yesterday's video was long enough a little too long i'd like to keep them to 15 minutes but i'm not doing well with that anyway uh let's jump into today's video and i'm just going to show you some things on uh, youtube uh some really fun free projects and then just uh, some other things and uh, let me know if you like videos like this of uh, like just looking at some different things online. I'm more than happy to share other resources and designers. Maybe we could like feature some people or projects or something. So let me know what you think about that. And um, I think that's all for this introduction. And I would say let's jump into today's video show you is if you're uh, in YouTube go to your search bar and you can tape this uh, flamingo toes Christmas tree and she has quite a few things this is the video I was really thinking of uh, which is she calls them easy Christmas pillow covers and she actually did this on the uh, Riley Blake channel uh, but she did two pillows uh, a Christmas tree and a little gift which is uh, what she was kind of demonstrating in that uh, clip and both of those are so darn cute so that is a great video free stuff she gives you the complete instructions she's got these little tree blocks uh, this is really pretty she calls it penny serenade and i believe that she just took christmas uh, fabrics and made that uh, particular quilt into a Christmas quilt. And you can see behind her the tree and present. And this down here, I haven't looked at this one, but this is that same tree that uh, I make in my tree pattern. I shared that with you earlier and I made it into a wall hanging and into a pillow myself. I like making pillows. I think pillows for Christmas is really popular but anyway uh, so she uh, made those into a full quilt which is really cute but you can see if you made those as a table runner it would be mighty darn cute I would for a table runner I would go ahead and do some sash but uh, five trees and you've got a really cute runner and then down here this is more uh, flamingo toes her real name is Beverly McCulloch and she's got some stuff down here and that's like her actual channel, Beverly McCulloch. So, uh, yeah, these, I really, really liked. These are the ones that really jumped out at me. I'd love to make those. So, uh, those are just some like free options for you. This is a uh, Lala boutique and I have not used any of her fabric or, any of her patterns but I'm on her mailing list and I really really like her work and she had several Christmas related quilt patterns and the one I really like is this reindeer crossing I think this is adorable I'm so tempted to get that uh, what I would wind up doing is doing um, the the uh, the reindeer and the trees uh, but either you could do four of them and make a wall hanging or like a, a big cover to go on a table or you could put them in a row and make a really cute table runner so you never have to commit yourself to a full quilt you can just pick your favorite blocks 
and plug them into a table runner or a pillow or something like that. She has several things. She designs uh, fabric as well as quilt patterns. And of course, we're gonna wind up on the Fat Quarter Shop. Of course we are. <laughs> you know I love Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, I wanna show you this Christmas in the city because we were talking about non-traditional prints and things like that. And I just wanna kinda of show you what's in this collection. So this is the print that I purchased. And this is kind of cute. They've got that pink and orange uh, print that would coordinate with it. But I have to tell you, I love this one here with the ornaments. And it's got like this dollar horse. It's kind of a dollar horse. Oh, I love this. And this is so sweet. Joyful Boulevard. But it's kind of non-traditional. You know, it's like a lighter green. And there's that plum color again in the orange. I really, really like this. And then if you wanted something really whimsical, they've got this Santa toss print. And then this is so beautiful. This is that Joyful Boulevard in a different colorway and really, really pretty. That reads more traditional because it's got that deep green. Super cute, just super cute. Now, let me show you Let's look at the Ruby Star. I want to show you while we're on the subject of non-traditional Christmas. <laughs> You'll love this. Or, or you might not. Oh, let's see. What's it called? Ruby Star Jolly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jolly Darlings. There we go. Oh, I love this so much. It's so cute. There's the Jelly Roll Strip. And just look at these really fun prints that you can get in this. <clears throat> Excuse me. My absolute favorite. Oh, this is interesting. So maybe they're just not showing it. But there is a uh, pink. Oh, there it is. There's the pink version I was going to say. Hmm. Okay, it's there. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, my favorite. Well, I love this one with the snow globes. But my favorite is this octopus. And I'm not usually somebody that likes an octopus. I mean, I know that that is a motif that some people are just bananas over. I'm not really one of those people, but in the case of this print, I just love it. I don't know what it is. So uh, she didn't have this in the yardage and I had a lot of trouble finding it until I went over to Etsy and we'll go to Etsy in just a minute. But I just wanted you to see that, um, uh, there are other color options available if you don't want to do that super traditional red and green. If you wanted to, they do have that in this collection with the little deer. So it's there. But you also have this peachy pink and that type of thing, which I really like. Let's go over and look at Stash. Uh, this is a website that I recently shopped from. It is a new to me seller and she's the one where I actually wound up getting that Christmas in the city print and uh, she has not only that print, she has this beautiful uh, coordinating fat quarters uh, bundle that goes with it. And isn't that gorgeous? And look how non-traditional that is. So there's your plum and your orange and um, different shades of greens and pinks. That's so pretty. So this this is part of Christmas in the City and this is from uh, American Art Gallery Fabrics. So Art Gallery Fabrics has coordinated this uh, color uh, grouping to that collection. It's really pretty. I tell you, um, one of the easiest ways to make uh, quilt blocks or really anything coordinating is to pick your your main print and then use solids as your other options. It's so much easier than pairing prints, which I think can be fairly difficult because you don't want it over busy. This is beautiful. I love this. 
So she's selling this as a five yard. Oh wait, maybe not. Oh yeah, I guess maybe four yards in stock. So you can buy. Oh, maybe she's only selling it as the five yards. I don't know. Have to call and ask, but isn't that gorgeous? I don't really want five yards of it though. All right, let's finish up by coming over to Etsy. And Etsy is pretty fun. Uh, you can see <laughs> that it remembers me. But, uh, you know, I also, this is where I log in for my shop and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but you can see what I've been looking at. And it's all Christmassy stuff. And here's all this retro Christmas. The AI on Etsy is pretty good at serving up things that you're going to like. Here you can see where I got my Ruby Star panel really cool stuff over here. I love these little pizza earrings. Okay, I'm getting off topic. I'm getting tired, you guys. What did I want to show you? I wanted to show you some more panel prints. And when you're looking, oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Etsy is so good because you can find things here when you can't find them elsewhere. So let's go Ruby Star Octopus. And look, it comes right up. So this is the one that just first jumped out at me. And this is the first, uh, the first octopus design that came out. And it's kind of weird because they call it mystery food. I wouldn't look at that and think of that as mystery food. But anyway, there's your blue octopus. And they added a little smile for Christmas. Where's the, oh, and there's the gold one. Isn't that cute? That's just darling. And there's even an orange one, but I really like this one. I like this one and I love this one. It's so odd. Oh, look at this. She's got a darlings too. Looks like a fat quarter bundle. I might have to go back and look at that. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So yeah, Etsy is such a great resource to find things that you can't find anywhere else. And these are super cute, these little notebooks. And I do use notebooks, but again, I'm getting off topic. Here is, I guess somebody is actually selling this quilt and they're calling it Modern Christmas. Let's see what that is. Uh, yeah, so this is somebody selling a quilt. Crazy. For $100, I can't believe she's selling that for $100. This beautiful work. Look at that. That's that's the deal of a century. Absolutely the deal of a century. Hundred bucks for a, a beautiful handmade quilt. Isn't that just unreal? Ah, okay, let me show you. Uh, this will be probably the last thing that we'll look at while we're here. Gingerbread Christmas panel. Okay, so I had looked at this on Stash, actually, and it was sold out, and now I can come right over to Etsy, and there it is. And here's this one, the Nocturnal Panel. I showed you this in a recent video, and uh, it's so pretty. But uh, there's like all of these, I think this is so cute, these little um pictures of these holiday motifs they're almost like passport photos they're really fun so you have it in an option with a white background or a color background and even though i usually like the white background i have to say i like this with the color and it's a great price half off 40 percent off that's a good deal and then here she's got a fat quarter bundle that's also on sale Oh, this is really cute. This is an advent calendar. Oh, look at this one. Farm charm animal panel. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen that. <laughs> it's dangerous coming over here. <laughs> See what I do for you guys. This is cute. So I think this is a pattern. And what she's done is taken uh, like some of the illustrations from here and then has made them to look like uh, Christmas cards which is really a cute idea and as you know I'm working on that envelope quilt pattern right now and this is also an envelope 
quilt pattern, which is really cool. But the little advent calendar is just adorable. And we'll come on down. And here she's got what they're calling it Merriment quilt pattern. And she does have a collection called Merriment. And I guess there's a panel with these animals. Maybe that comes with the Fat Quarter Bundle. Sometimes they put these panels into the Fat Quarter Bundles. Oh, this is cute. So this is a uh, winter retreat quilting kit. So there's just all kinds of stuff. Holiday cards, that's what they call it. And that's pretty non-traditional. Oh, and that uses those little tiny illustrations in the houses. That's really cute. There's just all sorts of non-traditional Christmas things out there. Oh, this is cute. Merriment stocking quilt kit. Oh, that's dark. So they've made uh, quilt blocks that look like Christmas or look like, uh, yeah, Christmas stockings and made that into a quilt. That's cute. Anyway, this I, I could just go on like all afternoon shopping with you. Um, but just just to give you an idea, these are just some of the things that are out there. So you can do really cute uh, paid patterns. You can uh, find free patterns. Let's see what she has for. Let's just see what comes up for free Christmas patterns. There's a cross stitch. So there's a few things. Oh, look at this one. This is all uh, presents. Is that free? I can't believe that's free. All sorts of things. And then we get into, let's see. That's a Robert Kaufman. Yeah, that's free. So there you go. This is using how the Grinch stole Christmas fabric. I have to tell you, the Grinch is not my favorite. I like the little who's. I'm not a big fan of the Grinch. Anyway, but you know, to each his own. <laughs> that's why there are so many different things because we all like different things and that's okay. Look, so there's a whole fabric collection. Let's see if they have anything left. Oh, yeah. Oh, they've even got a Grinch advent calendar. Now, see, this is all in that really uh, saturated red and green. So it's very, very traditional looking. I did like the dog. It's not a whole lot left. But if, if you're into the Grinch, they've got some stuff and they've got a fat quarter bundle. While we're here, let me just show you my website. Since we're here, and uh, this is my homepage, and you can come down, and these are all my most recent blog posts. But uh, you can come over to uh, this little magnifying glass and type in Christmas. And a lot of stuff will come up. So here is that pillow. And I did have a project tutorial with the cutting instructions on making that. I also do recipes on my website and generally they're pretty easy. I have some things that are a little more advanced, but I try to do a mix. Here's my Christmas stockings. Last year I made patchwork Christmas stockings and I showed you how I did that. Here is the pattern for that tree block. And that has your cutting instructions. And um, here is the uh, directions for the little uh, cat and mouse and the stocking. Here's how I made that fabric Christmas tree. So a lot of what I shared with you in the video, you can find over here. Uh, this one is that tree napkin and I'll show you how you can make your own pattern to uh, make those. It, it simplifies the process. Yeah, let's see. This is brand new. I just posted that one. 
Oh, these are so good. The Viennese whorls. They're, they're a little bit tricky, but oh my gosh, they're worth it. Here's how to make the quilted fabric. So I have a video on that. And this is the little quilted pouch that I made a couple of years ago now. And uh, there's a pattern and instructions for that. So this is a cute project. Now I did not show you this. I do have a video for this one. Look how cute that is. Oh, I love that so much. I probably should have shown them to you in the video, but I didn't think to get them out in time. This was a really fun little glue gun project. I haven't been in the store this year. I got everything in Michael's uh, and I don't know what their selection of the little, um, the little pieces look like this year. I still have some in my stash. Uh, so I, I don't know. I don't know how it looks, but anyway, I do have a video on this, which is here and I can link to that for you. Anyway, isn't that cute? So yeah, that's my website and I hope that you will sign up for my email list. You can come down here at the very bottom and, uh, that will, oops. I can't show you on this screen grab. Anyway, at the very bottom, you can just sign up. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my website. So check it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's all I wanted to show you over here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that fun little romp around uh, the interwebs, looking at Christmas fabrics and patterns. I never get tired of that type of thing. And uh, so if you enjoyed this type of uh, video, let me know. I could make a lot of stuff. Uh, I would be very happy to uh, show you around uh, some different uh, collections and uh, resources for free patterns. And maybe we could find some things in those free pattern sections that I know about that we can sew together. So let me know what you think about that. That might be really fun. I definitely hope that you saw some things that you liked and enjoyed and that uh, got your little Christmas sewing wheels going and uh, that you're just excited about the season. I'm excited about it. And I'm looking forward to bringing uh, like three new projects to you this season. So I hope that's exciting for you. It's exciting for me. Okay. That is today's video. As always, thank you so much for being here, for participating. And until the next video, I'll see you around YouTube and happy quilting.